What's going on guys? I'm Alexander Brown here, AKA Conscience, and uh, I just wanted to finish up this video series and talk about the last record, Maui, off my brand new album, Rem, available in stores everywhere. Um, this record is really a cool record. I, I don't think uh, it would take a special set of circumstances for me to make another record similar to this one. And um, the song is just about my trip to Maui. Um, when I got married, Ellie and I decided that we were gonna wait for our um, honeymoon because we didn't have a lot of money uh, at the time. And we didn't wanna just do something that wasn't memorable. Uh, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, but we wanted to just have patience and um, save up and have an experience together that we both had, had never had before, which was leaving the country and going to Hawaii. Um, when we went to Maui, it was just the most breathtaking experience I've ever had, to be honest. I thought Maui, or just the Hawaiian Islands in general, were a giant cliche. I thought people just hyped, overly hyped it up. I didn't want to believe that it was an amazing place. And um, when I got there, I was quickly reminded of how stupid I was for thinking that. Um, it was just amazing weather. Um, there's this light humidity that kind of feels like it's hugging you and a gentle breeze from the ocean at the same time. So it's just kind of this different, the, the climate itself is, is breathtaking uh, and just awesome. You can just walk around and whatever you have on and uh, you can have light clothes. And it was just a free floating experience. Um, we went snorkeling and uh, we, went on through the wine country, we went through Hana, um, we had a nice rental car where we were able to just drive through the different towns and and uh, eat fruit that was just sitting on the street. Uh, they've got these like little places where you can put money in like a tip jar kind of, but no one's working it. You just kind of grab fruit and leave some money for different people in the community trying to make money. Um, different fruits you've never had before. Um, trying to think of some other cool things. The Red Sand Beach, the Black Sand Beach, and, um, we were at the Hyatt, so um, it was, uh, I think it was in Lahaina is the name of it, I forget. But uh, it, it was just amazing. When we first got there, our hotel um, had a plumbing issue in our room, and our room was hotel facing. I mean, we kind of had a beach view, but not really, because um, it was off to the side. And uh, there was this plumbing that was just like, doom, 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 every like 30 seconds to a minute. And we were like, there's no way that this is gonna feel like a honeymoon if we stay in this room. But they were acting like we kind of had to just deal with it. So um, we, we complained and finally a, a janitor came up and said, okay, show me what's going on. And we couldn't get the sound to happen when he showed up. But right when he was about to leave, Doom, 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 doom. And I was like, yo, 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 come here, come here, check this out. So they were able to see that, and then they upgraded our room to uh, Ocean View. And so we were in a nice, nice uh, suite. And uh, that was just an amazing experience that Ali and I had. Um, we look at, we have a picture hanging on our fridge of uh, just the glow that we had when we were there. The picture just looks so fake because uh, it's just like an ocean view with just incredible greenery around us. And uh, we're, we're glowing, we've got little tans and we just, we never wanted to leave. And so this song, um, I wanted to highlight some of the beautiful spots that I had visited, you know, the Black Sand Beach, driving down the road to Hana, um, the hotel. Um, they just bring up a whole bunch of references so that I can really teleport you to the place and you can look at the place and see just the beauty that it is. Um, being in Maui really showed me how amazing God is <laughs> that he would create such a place. Um, I remember snorkeling and just being in the middle of the ocean and there's this place on the where the reef breaks off and anything past that is just what they call the the, uh, the deep blue and it's just this kind of dark mass of, of, of blue tint and you can see pretty much underwater everything behind the reef towards the beach side but then you just look into this vast ocean and it is overwhelming. Um, I can't imagine anybody snorkeling who winds up seeing animal life down there. You know, I remember we drove by or uh, boated by and saw like a, a giant seal. And, uh, and, and then we saw like a giant mass of dolphins on a migration. And, um, and, and we 
we had heard earlier of a shark attack. And I can't even imagine if I saw any of those animals in the water, I would <laughs> I would pee my pants among other things. And uh, so I remember just sitting down and being right on the reef and looking out into the deep blue and going, wow, God, you are bigger than all of this. And only that fact is what kept me from just losing my mind <laughs> in the water. Um, and actually a funny story, when Allie was swimming back to the boat, she began to be so scared of being underwater that when I told her to go back to the boat, which was hanging right off the reef, um, she saw the, the deep blue as well. And so <laughs> it was so funny because she was looking at the boat and the, the, the driver was like, go under the boat. You know, it was one of those boats where it had like two things on the side, but you could swim underneath the boat to get to the ladder to get back up. And as she was swimming towards it, she very quickly started swimming back to the shore, the shoreline, um, but her head was facing the way of where the boat was. So it was almost like her body wanted to leave and, and go closer to the more shallow water. Uh, but her head was just stuck in awe of the deep blue. And so it was an incredible experience. Um, I, I made that song to just kind of say, you know, give light to the beauty that's in Maui, but more importantly, make it a spiritual experience of thinking about my salvation and the grandeur and amazingness and vastness of, of God and how big he is. Um, and glorifying him for that in praise and saying, wow, God, you made this. Like, I feel like you're in a good place when you see any good and any beauty that you see, you think of the Lord. Um, that's not the only place to think of the Lord, but I think any, any excuse we can have to appreciate God for any bit of goodness, because we don't deserve any of it. Um, we, we should we're in a good place of, of uh, awareness when you're in when you're having a god awareness things to be in worship of and, and, and prayerful of and thoughtful of that's a good place and that's where we totally were um now granted it helped that we were comfortable <laughs> we we were free to uh observe and appreciate god's goodness and his amazingness um however uh it, it was just it was an experience that I'll never forget. And uh, so this song, again, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a light song, I would say, where I'm just kind of showcasing the beauty of Maui, but more importantly, just kind of a great way to end the song is like the song, like the songs opened up at the beginning with the worship element, kind of wanted to end it with a worship um, and talk about my, my travels to Maui. So a lot of people love that record. I got to play it for some pretty cool people. And, uh, a lot of people seem to really connect with it. Just the vibe and the, the dreamy, euphoric nature of the song is something that people really kind of get teleported out of wherever they are when they listen to it. Um, I'm, I'm interested to know, like, what's a place that you've gone to? It can be in the country or outside of it that you had that same feeling where you were just taken to another dimension. It wasn't what you were expected, expecting and uh, it's an experience you'll never forget. Really interested in hearing that. Put it in the comments below. DM me. Um, you know, or hit me up, let me know what that experience was. I might share it uh, or just talk with you a little bit about it because I'm interested. Um, that takes us to the end of the album. Again, you guys can get REM anywhere online. I really appreciate it for those of you who have purchased the album. You get three additional songs uh, if you email me a picture of your purchase or DM me uh, and I'll add your email to my premium exclusive email list. I have a general list and then I have a premium. Uh, the premium doesn't cost any money. It's just you get free entry into it uh, if you actually purchase the album instead of streamed it. You'll get three new songs and you'll get a, a, a little bit more exclusive content earlier uh, in terms of notice, you'll get notified on all that stuff. It's really a cool way for me to give more value to you for um, appreciating and supporting my work financially. Um, again, though, feel free to stream it if you do, you know, get it wherever you can. So uh, consciencehiphop.com, you'll find all the links and uh, let me know if you bought it. Let me know what you thought about it overall. If you have any tips, tricks for, for the next series of songs, we're going to try to release 50 songs this year. And uh, I'm really looking forward to bringing you guys more content and taking you alongside the artist journey. All right. So again, I'm Alexander Brown, aka Conscience, signing off.